the wedding to look forward to was such a positive thing when you get a, a cancer diagnosis. And it's why I didn't want to change the date. Lacey Williams learned she had breast cancer just three months before her big day. The Athens woman would need surgery, then months of chemotherapy and radiation. Now, but Williams and her husband, Jay Gully, refused to let cancer ruin the best day of their lives. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here now with their story. And Sinead and Tom, it's been such an incredible year, really, for Lacey and Jay. They got engaged last fall, then she was diagnosed in January, and then they learned that her cancer was more aggressive than they'd initially thought, and they would be beginning their marriage by fighting for their future. He used to play at the Earl a lot. Lacey Williams and Jay Gully's wedding day was powerful. I think we both teared up when we said our vows, especially the in sickness and in health, because it means so much to us, and we know what that, what those vows mean. No, because they've lived them. In early January, three months before the Athens couple was supposed to get married, Lacey was diagnosed out of the blue with breast cancer at 31. And that was the first moment that I that I felt scared and I cried. Lacey needed surgery, but she didn't want to cancel or delay their wedding. So just five weeks before their big day, she underwent a unilateral mastectomy, surgery to remove her affected breast. The whole journey that I've been on, I was the calmest right before surgery. I mean, all the people at the hospital were very aware of what she was going through. Because Dr. Cody Gunn, Lacey's breast surgeon at Piedmont Athens Regional, says the surgery revealed Lacey's cancer wasn't just in her milk duds as they'd hoped. It was was invasive and it had already moved into some nearby lymph nodes and it was her two positive breast cancer. So those breast cancers grow faster, uh, they tend to be behave more aggressively and they have a higher risk of recurrence. It just seemed like the news kept getting worse and worse. March 10th, Lacey and Jay got married. It was a very emotional day. But the honeymoon would have to wait. Three days after her wedding, she went straight to chemotherapy. I had 16 rounds of chemo and it was really hard. Jay remembers when it hit him watching Lacey one morning. When she turned around and was getting something out of the, the pantry, I noticed I noticed there was a, a lot of hair loss in the back and that, that's when it really kicked in for me. It's just like she was going out and going to her job and had no idea that, that it was really happening. But Lacey pushed on through 30 rounds of radiation with Jay by her side. There were definitely moments of, of immense sadness and you question why is this happening to me? And today, life is good. Lacey's hair is growing back in and she says they're stronger for the journey. This is an experience that will push me to do bigger and better things and, and to really not take life for granted. When Lacey has completed her chemotherapy and radiation, she's now receiving an immunotherapy drug and she's on tamoxifen to lower her risk of a recurrence of her cancer. But she wants younger women to know that breast cancer can happen to them too. So do your breast self exam, she says, and go to the doctor if you notice any lump or change in your breast. And Tom and Sinead, it's important to say, you know, it's very rare to have breast cancer in younger women, but it's mm -hmm. often more aggressive. And so it's really something you cannot ignore, even if you're in in your 20s and 30s, you know, don't ignore a change in your breast. Yeah, and, re and hearing so many of these stories, it's you have to be vigilant no matter who yes, you, you are, do. younger, older, male, female. Absolutely. Everyone needs to be watching out. Absolutely. All right, thanks. Thanks, Beth. Beth.